Hello everybody and welcome to episode 30 of Pokemon Adventure Red Chapter. In the last episode, we had a big fight with Green. Uh, we took on Sissy of Team Rocket, who is one of the four heads of Team Rocket, I suppose. And we got here to C Route 3, and we left it here. I didn't really know where to progress next, but if you come, hop on Surf, and just come right over here, Tangelo Island is here. So we'll check out the town, explore a little bit, and then... Uh, figure out what we have to do next. I don't know how many more episodes we have to record of this beta, but I'm assuming it's just a couple more. Uh, we might get a gym battle in, and then that'll be it, probably. And then we'll get to look forward to beta 9. Uh, so let's talk to everybody. My friend loves singing, although he's not that good at it. Alright, let's hear him sing. I love to fish, fish, fish. I love to fish, fish, fish. Alright. So he's not that creative, is really what he should be saying. In the Orange Archipelago, nearly all the Pokemon from Kanto have different color, uh, different coloration. Alright, I like my undies, they're so comfy and easy to wear. Alright, that is true, I mean, who doesn't like just uh, sitting around in their undies? And maybe I'm doing it right now, you, you don't know. Don't like girls? Well, maybe you want to spend the night with me. Uh, no, that's alright. I'm the Tangelo Island Slut, alright, wow, alright. Uh, am I a bad mother? How did my son and daughter decide to live a life as a pros? Oh well. <laughs> Alrighty. So, that's a bit graphic. I hope no kids are watching. But, uh, let's see if we can buy anything. Or do we want to buy anything? Ooh, Max revives. I'll buy eight of those. Alright, it's nice that they're selling them. Uh, actually, let's see if any of these people have different scripts. Famous for Wildlife Park, I'm so happy to live here. Alright, we'll have to check that out. Uh, I thought this island was pretty small, but maybe it's bigger than I thought. Um, okay, so the Pokemon Center's over here. Did we miss a couple houses? Oh, okay, one house over here. Let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, another name raider. Alright, so I guess he, uh, the creator just added in a bunch of name raiders. So I don't think they were in Kanto. Uh, but, as you can see, the Pokemon Center here works, so... I don't know what was up with Valencia Island. Uh, he's no pretty boy, but I, I guess there's nothing else we can do in town. So let's head to the north. Let's try the north first and see what we can find, and then if there's nothing, we'll just head south. I put the experience share on Snorlax, since he is pretty low leveled, and Pikachu is getting a lot of experience, but I don't really mind it. Uh, we have rare candies if we need to even up the levels a little bit, but... We'll need Pikachu against the water gym leader anyway, so uh, we could just do that. Uh, okay, I'm not scared of anything. I mean, she's swimming in the open ocean, so I guess she isn't afraid of much. Uh, okay, so yeah, I thought this was the base of Team Rocket. And here's Shiny Growlithe. Very cool. Uh, okay, so we're not going to go on the base, but we can keep going north, I guess see what is around. Um, okay, so we can try to take on Gyarados. Hopefully it won't destroy us. Alright. Good thing it only went for Rain Dance after Dragon Dance. And Quillfish uh, we'll stay in on, even though we're running out of Thunderbolts rather quickly. Uh, Lantern, okay. I didn't see what was coming out, but let's go out into Ivysaur and go for a Leech Seed. And we'll go for a Sleep Powder next. Lantern has a ton of HP, so we'll get a lot back from Leech Seed. Now we can go for Razor Leaf. And be at full health, which is what we want, so... Uh, let's see what else is on here. I guess... Um, I just don't feel like swimming. Okay. So, uh, we're on Route 4 kind of interested in seeing what else, what other kind of events and side quests there are. Um, but it looks like we've really just got a lot of trainers to take on, help our levels. Which is useful, but uh, I'm looking for more than that. Hopefully there will be something. These trainers are high level, but they're really not a problem at all. But we'll go into Lax here. And Surskit really didn't need to get faster. That was the last thing it needed. Let's go for a Sludge Bomb with Venusaur. That'll probably be our best move. And there we go. Alright. 
So, are we going to run out of place to go to the north? I guess there's this little rock formation. I don't like the orange archipelago. There's too much water. Yeah. I hear ya. Uh, okay. I don't know if I want to talk to this Corsola. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a messed up person or something. But it seems to be fine. Uh, eek, why did I swim out here? I'm afraid of the water. That's pretty good swimming skills, I must say. Let's talk to this person. Oh, didn't want to fight. Alright, this seems to go on forever. Mike and Island, okay. At least there's something to do here. Um, let's see. Hopefully there will be something to do. It's a beach house, and I see Team Rocket grunts. My brother is a fishing guru. He knows what kind of water Pokemon lurk in the water. Okay, full of Seedra. So maybe that changes on a daily basis or something? I don't know. Eek, hand over your Pokemon. Hmm, Team Rocket is attacking here too? You gotta help me. Okay, leave it to me. You're picking fights with the wrong kind of people, kid. Alright, he's just a grunt, so I think we'll just super speed. But they are getting very sh I mean, a lot stronger, I must say. Uh, but Firo, I guess we might as well... S we could stay in. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in. But I'm surprised they don't have shiny Pokemon. Since uh, we are in the Orange Islands and they all seem to be shiny. I'll remember this. Thank you for rescuing me. No problem, man. Mike and Island is completely taken over by Team Rocket. The gym leader is in danger. You gotta help her. I promised Misty a long time ago that I'd stop Team Rocket. Sure, I'll get rid of Team Rocket, and I'll save this island's gym leader. Alrighty. So, the chef is just gonna go away in delight, I guess. Uh, will we have any place to heal our Pokemon? Doesn't look like it. That's kind of unfortunate. Damn, these people have high-leveled Pokemon. I'm probably going to have to pause and go back and heal. And with all these flying types, Pikachu's really the only thing I can go to. So, I mean, we have Ice-type moves, but it's easier this way. Let's go out into Gyarados next. And, oh, we can surf that way too. Seems like there's a lot left in this game. Alright. Let's see what this guy, how many more trainers we have to take on. Uh, he's pretty high leveled, but hopefully we can take him on. Alright, he's going to take down our first Pokemon, but we do have Surf here. And we take him out. Mighty Eno. Let's go for Brick Break. And that did a good amount, so... It'll be a 3 hit KO at the very least. But yeah, uh, I'm guessing that a lot of people are going to have trouble taking on these rocket grunts. We don't really want belly drums since we only have one physical move anyway. So let's just keep going I guess. Ride on. That's kind of trouble for Pikachu. Uh, let's try going out into Snorlax. And Razor Leaf did a good amount. And uh, we'll go for one more Razor Leaf and an Ice Beam. We didn't quite take down either one. That stinks but we will send out Eevee, and I'll go heal up before we uh, take on more Rocket Grunts. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, actually, we can just go back into the Pokemon Center, heal our Pokemon. We didn't have to actually go all the way back. All right, uh, eek, I'm so scared. David, please protect me. How does it know my name is... Oh, that guy's David, I guess. Alright. I thought they were calling me David. So that's my name, but... Anyway, there's a shell bell. I don't really need it. Uh, can't go in the mart. Looks like all we can do is go to the gym leader. And there are some Cedra here, if you want a uh, Kingdra. Just stay strong, okay. So they're good at singing. And let's check out the gym leader. You want to save the gym leader of Mike and Island? You wish. Alright. He's a primate at level 60. Wow. Alright. Hopefully we'll be able to take on this guy. Okay, he's going to take down that Pokemon, Gyarados, in one shot. Let's go for a Leech Seed. And that's how we've been able to take on the higher level Pokemon for the most part. Let's go for Sludge Bomb and finish it off. 
Alright, that couldn't have been the boss of this gym. Let's see what he has to say. Ugh, I better get out of here. Hmm, why does it feel like they're not even putting up a fight? That's a good question. Let's heal back up. It sounds like we're headed into a trap, but we're gonna go into it headstrong anyways. And it doesn't tell us who the gym leader is, but that's alright. This is the gym. It's pitch black. Ah, help me! I heard a scream. The gym leader must be in trouble. Alright, let's uh, surf. Can we not surf anywhere? What? Where are we supposed to go? Here we are. Ah, something's biting me. What the hell is it? Alright, Sharpedi- uh, Sharpedo. Excuse me. Let's go for Thrash. And... We're able to two-hit KO it. There's sharks in this pool. Alright, that's not good. Um, is there anywhere to get off, exactly? Here we go. Alright, we have another Sharpedio attack. Sharpedo attack, I don't know how to say it. Um, but we're going to probably get taken out by a Skull Bash. Uh, let's switch out into Venusaur. Go for Razor Leaf. And there we go. Alright, let's continue. Hopefully we don't get bit again. Here's a uh, little entrance here. Alright. Let's um, heal up, actually, before we uh, take on the final boss, which I'm expecting is coming soon. And we probably want to start off with Venusaur. Alright, here we go. Are you the Mike and Island gym leader? I'm here to rescue you. Hee hee hee. I'm really impressed. You managed to get past Team Rocket, and you managed to safely swim across my Sharpedio... Sharpedo... I don't know why I keep saying that wrong. Infested waters. Wait, you put those sharks there? I nearly died. Why would you do that? Is it to stop Team Rocket from reaching, reaching you? Ha ha ha. Why would I stop Team Rocket, Dave from Palatown? It's you. That's right. It's Sissy, one of the four leaders of the Orange Archipelago Team Rocket Division, and also one of the four gym leaders of the Orange League. I did some research on you, Dave. You're a Pokemon trainer. You took down Team Rocket from the Kanto region, and you're also the champion of Kanto. The moment my underlings, underlings captured you in Tangelo Island, I was planning to get rid of you. You're a threat, and we don't need you to ruin our plan. How did you know I was going to stop by here? Please, Squirt. You came here to take part in the Orange Cup, am I right? Obviously, you would want to fight the Orange League's gym leaders. I knew my underlings... Uh, don't have the power of or strategies to take you down, so I had them act as a distraction while I set up this trap. Trap? Freeze him. Alright. Ha ha ha. Oh, and you better be careful. These waters are filled with hungry Sharpedo. Sharpedo. They'll devour you in seconds. Okay. So I thought we got frozen. Oh, are all of our Pokemon frozen? Darn it. Alright, so... We're going to use some lava cookies, and make. Sh and while this Squirtle isn't doing much to us, we will heal up all of our Pokemon. It's probably our best defense. We'll go for Leech Seed, just take it down uh, slowly. And uh, so, yeah, be prepared to bring Freeze Heals or something. It's probably the best way. And uh, we'll just heal up all of our Pokemon, probably the best idea. Just make sure they're all healthy. And let's put this thing to sleep now. And I don't know why I was super speeding, but I won't now. Um, but now we can go for Razor Leaf, I guess, and take down Squirtle. So yeah, it's a good thing she doesn't start off with like a Blastoise or something, or else this battle would be pretty challenging with all of our Pokemon frozen. But um, that's a pretty cool implementation game mechanic to add. Next up, Seedra. We're going to stay in, I think. Can't think of anything that this thing might have to hurt us too bad. I don't think Twister is going to do a whole lot. Um, I don't know if Seedra's Dragon type in this game. Probably is. It makes sense that Seedra would be a Dragon type. I always thought it was in first generation. And it has Water Gun, okay. So that's kind of a weak move for level 60. 
But let's put this thing to sleep and then do the same thing with Razor Leaf. Uh, Venusaur is just really good. It always is. And it has leftovers. Okay, so... Uh, after each turn, it'll definitely be a lot of stalls and sleeping and leech seeds and leftovers, but that's alright. We can handle that. I'm guessing she's probably going to have healing items. I'm not really sure. She does. Full restore. That's too bad. But I think we'll be able to take her out with one more Razor Leaf. She's not going to heal up again. She's going to use agil Agility, which is fine. Water Gun barely would have done more, so... There's two down. I'm guessing she'll get a little bit tougher. Hoping not to see a Lapras, but I know better. Alright, Snorlax grew to level 41, so next Gyarados is definitely going to get a... We don't want Block. It's going to get the experience share. Alright, War Turtle's out next. Oh, she has six Pokemon, I didn't realize. Let's go for Leech Seed. They all seem to have Skull Bash. That's fine. I guess it is their best move. I don't know. Skull Bash is a dumb move. If it raised, like, attack and defense, then I could see it working, but... Otherwise, it's really not that great. Uh, let's put this thing to sleep. So it doesn't Skull Bash us a bunch. I'm guessing Skull Bash won't do, yeah, too much. But we do miss, of course. It's not surprising. Uses Rain Dance, that's quite alright, we don't mind. Especially since we're using stalling tactics, these Rain Dances will be over in no time at all. So let's go for Rage Leaf, probably be a two-hit KO at this point unless we get a crit. Which is always a possibility with Rage Leaf. It's probably going to heal up, which is unfortunate, but we seem to not be timing these attacks right. We should wait a little bit more, and then the battle would have been much quicker. But Razor Leaf's probably going to do, okay, only a third. Even after Leech Seed, we won't be able to take him down, probably. He missed Hydro Pump, which I th thought was impossible to, in the rain, but I guess that's just Thunder. Probably not going to take it out with Leech Seed, no. So, sh but she doesn't heal again, that's good. Hydro Pump will probably do about a half. Alright. So, we might need to heal up Ivysaur at some point, and we don't really need growth. Unless we had a sunny day team, then it might be kind of useful. Let's actually switch out into Pikachu and give him a shot at one of these Pokemon. Kingler has terrible special defense. Uh, I don't really think its defense is all that great either, but Pikachu might be able to one-hit KO this thing, actually. Uh, but it did use Protect, which is fine. And let's see how much this does. Alright, so it did one hit KO. That's awesome. Pikachu's a beast. Even with its lowered stats. Quillfish is out next. I wasn't expecting such a crappy Pokemon, but... I don't know. Some people really like Quillfish. I usually like crappy Pokemon, but Quillfish doesn't do anything for me. I'd rather Octillery, to be honest. But we also took that down in one hit. Got almost no experience. And for Blastoise, let's actually try out Eevee. I know this seems like suicide, but let's try it out. I don't really know when Eevee's supposed to evolve, but we don't really need it to evolve if it has this move. Let's see. Um, okay. It's unaffected. Alright, that didn't do as much as I wanted it to. But let's just keep going for Disarm Sound until we get taken out. Let's go for Leech Seed now as Blastoise gets ready for Skull Bash, and we miss, of course. Of course we would. And Skull Bash isn't going to do too much. I'm surprised he's not going for Hydro Pump. I feel like that would do a lot more. But, get our Leech Seed off finally, and we're going to get a ton of HP back now. So let's just keep going for Razor Leafs, and we should win this battle relatively quickly. Probably only one more hit. Oh, he uses Rapid Spin to actually clear the Leech Seeds. That was pretty smart. Now she can heal up again. Alright, very good. So, Expert Gym Leader here. Let's go for uh, Sleep Powder so he doesn't use Rapid Spin. Uh, he uses Rain Dance instead. We miss our Sleep Powder. We're not getting very lucky, are we? Alright, he can probably take us out with a Hydro Pump. He chooses not to again. Our best move is to keep going for Leech Seed. 
I didn't expect to get a gym leader battle in today, but it looks like we might have a couple more episodes even after this, unless there's really nowhere else we, can, we can't go to the south of Tangelo Island. Uh, if we can't go to the south of Tangelo Island, then our beta is pretty much done. Uh, we can still go to the east near this island, but uh, I'm guessing we might not be able to move from there. Either way, the gym battle's almost over. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I sure did. This is definitely a great, well-made game, even though there's a couple glitches. I'm sure those will be fixed pretty quick. And she doesn't heal up, so we're finally able to take her out. And she's pretty mad. Interesting sprite. I don't really know what she's supposed to look like. Earth, no way, I can't lose. I won't allow it. Alright. Ah, these waters are filled with Sharpedo. She couldn't have survived that. Hmm, there's something on the ground. Alright, we got the Coral Eye Badge. Uh, okay, he seems pretty happy about that. <laughs> but, either way, let's get out of here. And it's still dark, so we might have some trouble getting back. Uh, let's see. Not that way. There's a lot of dead ends, and you'd think you could hop up on those ledges, but you can't. So, anyways, uh, hopefully you'll, you're able to traverse that maze. Uh, hopefully I showed enough of, uh, enough of it that you guys were able to tell where to go. Um, but, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely use Venusaur in that battle to just stall tactic. Uh, it's definitely a very helpful tactic. Uh, probably wouldn't be able to take out Blastoise without it. I really don't know what Necromancy does. I'm going to have to look into it. It might only affect Pokemon that are not fully evolved or something. I have no idea. Uh, but either way, I've seen it one-hit KO other Pokemon, just not on screen. <laughs> but anyways, again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Probably be at least one or two more episodes. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. And I'm sure that these videos have been supported a lot, so I want to thank you for that. They're probably all coming out at the same time on Saturday? Friday? Something like that. Anyways, thanks again. See you next time. Bye-bye.